Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss some great Raspberry Pi projects. Without further ado, let's start with number 10. In this project, an old LEGO Mindstorms kit from 1998 was modernized using a Raspberry Pi 5 to create an AI-powered trash sorting robot. Instead of the outdated Windows 95 software, a custom web-based graphical programming interface was developed using Google's Blockly library. This user-friendly interface generates Python code that communicates with the original LEGO brick using the NQC language via a USB to serial adapter and an IR tower. For AI-based classification, a Pi camera captures images of objects placed on a LEGO-built conveyor belt. These images are sent to GPT-4 Omni which identifies each item as trash or recycling. Based on the AI response, the robot activates motors to sort the object into the correct bin. A touch sensor triggers this process, and a simple logic loop continuously waits for input. Number 9. This project is a portable, battery-powered offline map device designed for outdoor location tracking. It allows you to preload map data onto the device and view your real-time location via GPS without needing a Wi-Fi or internet connection. Before traveling, you can store the maps of your destination, and during the trip, the device uses GPS data to display your position on the map at any time. The display is a 7.3-inch Spectra Color e-paper screen, which offers excellent visibility even under direct sunlight and can render color maps for better readability. To house all components, a simple wooden craft board was used as the mounting base. E-paper and GPS were fixed on the front side, while the Raspberry Pi and battery pack were secured on the back. Number 8. This creator wanted to keep mischievous cats off a table, so he built an AI-powered deterrent system that uses computer vision to detect cats and sprays them with water when they jump on a table. It uses a Raspberry Pi 4B which runs a custom Python script using OpenCV for image recognition. A camera module mounted on a rotating turret continuously scans the environment. If a cat is detected, the system checks whether it's inside a user-defined forbidden zone, marked using a coordinate polygon. If so, the turret automatically targets the cat and triggers a water spray to drive it away. The water jet is powered by a soda stream bottle, pressurized with air, Fitted with a custom-made adapter and pressure gauge, a motorized valve controls the water release, while SPI-compatible stepper drivers manage the precise movement of the turret. Number 7. Our next project is a robot arm that can pick up and stack blocks using a vacuum-powered gripper. The first step in building this arm was to make a custom circuit board that could move SG90 servo motors smoothly. Once this was done, the next part was to assemble the components. The robot uses three main motors. Two rotate the arm, and one lifts the gripper up and down. A vacuum pump helps the robot hold the blocks. To figure out where the blocks are, the robot uses two cameras, just like how our eyes help us see depth. The cameras spot colored blocks, calculate their 3D position, and the robot arm moves to grab and stack them. The arm is impressive but still struggles with small issues, like weak suction and slight inaccuracies. When it comes to building electronics projects, you need a PCB service that's affordable and reliable. That's JLC PCB, your trusted source for professional PCB and PCBA services. Ordering is simple. Upload your Gerber file, get an instant quote, and place your order in minutes. They also offer full-service manufacturing, from PCB customization to assembly, all in one place. You can get one to eight layer PCBs for just $2, with fast, efficient production that keeps costs low. Everything is made in-house with strict quality control, and orders are trackable every step of the way. With 24-hour turnaround and dependable delivery, JLC PCB delivers both speed and quality. Number six. Our next project is a DIY hot plate soldering station controlled by a Raspberry Pi Pico. Unlike traditional soldering irons or hot air guns, this setup uses an inexpensive $3, 400-watt heating element designed to act as a PCB reflow hot plate. 
For temperature sensing, an NTC thermistor was used, providing real-time thermal feedback to the system. The entire setup is mounted in a custom enclosure, combining 3D printed PLA parts with laser cut plywood to insulate the PLA from heat. A small LCD and rotary encoder on the front panel allow temperature setting and monitoring, while an AC connector and switch are mounted at the back. To ensure safety, the code includes a fault detection mechanism that cuts off power if the thermistor is disconnected or the temperature fails to rise as expected. Number 5. Michael took a Raspberry Pi 5 and transformed it into a powerful desktop server by adding a SSD, a UPS hat, an OLED display, and a custom 3D printed case with active cooling. It is ideal for running a desktop OS or turning the Pi into a lightweight home server. The Pi 5 is equipped with a 512GB NVMe SSD for high-speed storage. To ensure reliability during power outages, a Subtronix X1200 UPS hat is added between the Pi and SSD, offering up to two hours of backup power using 18650 batteries. For cooling and potential overclocking, an ice tower cooler is mounted directly to the Pi. The case accommodates this hardware stack with sleek clear acrylic side panels, brass inserts, and a dedicated mount for the OLED display. Number 4. Sean built this futuristic LED matrix mask that displays dynamic patterns and visuals across the surface using thousands of addressable LEDs. The mask is divided into individual LED matrix panels that fit together like puzzle pieces across the curved surface. In total, over 3,000 addressable LEDs were used, carefully arranged on these tiny boards. Each panel was carefully soldered using a toaster oven for reflow and connected by soldering the boards at specific angles. This was the most delicate part of the project, as one wrong move could ruin the entire mask. But Sean handled it perfectly. For control, he first used a pixel blaze board that handles LED mapping, essential because of the mask's complex shape. But it was unable to display images and videos, so instead, he used a Raspberry Pi 5 running a Python script to display images and video, mapping the visuals perfectly to the irregular grid. Number 3. Bijan built a custom retro-style mini laptop using the Raspberry Pi 02W. Inspired partly by the Macintosh Portable, the design features a 3D printed case with a hinged display and a compact Inland 47 key keyboard. The display is a 7-inch LCD panel connected via an FPV HDMI cable to the Pi, powered by an Adafruit PowerBoost 1000C module and a small LiPo battery. Power is delivered to both the screen and the Pi with a simple micro-USB charging port accessible at the back. Inside, the battery is secured with a custom 3D printed cover, and the display is attached using a hinge mechanism that allows tension adjustment. Number 2. This project transforms a Raspberry Pi 5 into a one-of-a-kind desktop computer using an optical illusion known as Pepper's Ghost. The Pi is paired with a circular LED screen mounted inside a glass dome and reflects onto a 45 to 60 degree angled transparent acrylic sheet. This clever setup creates the illusion of a floating display inside the dome. Cooling is handled by a heat sink and optional fan, preventing thermal throttling during use. A custom 3D printed base, painted black with a faux brass rim, houses the electronics and hide cables, giving the device a vintage aesthetic. Number 1. The Pomodoro Bot is a small, Raspberry Pi-powered productivity tool designed to help manage work sessions and monitor your environment. At its core is the Raspberry Pi 5 Running VM's robotics platform, which enables simple control, real-time monitoring, and cloud-based configuration without deep coding. The Bot features a single-button Pomodoro timer to encourage focused work. It integrates with Google Calendar, pulling event reminders directly to its system to keep you informed of upcoming tasks. 
Additionally, the bot monitors air quality and adjusts its display brightness according to the ambient light to maintain an optimal working environment. The display is a 4-inch capacitive touch IPS LCD. All these components are neatly housed in a custom-designed, 3D printed enclosure. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. Comment the project that you loved the most. We will be back with some great ideas soon. Till then, goodbye.